There is a little bit of seasonal magic to pies. In go the carrots. Helen Rennie loves teaching people how to cook. This former computer scientist from Moscow founded Helen's Kitchen Cooking School in Natick. Today's class, apple pie. The level of experience sometimes doesn't even matter because my classes are not as broad as they're deep. Well, Guess who shows up to class? Well, welcome to Helen's Kitchen. Well, have, thank you. Have That's you guys baked a pie before? Never. A long time ago. Oh, you have? Oh, yeah. She's already got a leg up I on do. Me. Just call me Julia. And so begins the first ever Chronicle Bake Off. Is this a friendly competition we have going on here? Very or is friendly. this we're going to take each other down type of competition? Because I'm very competitive. Oh, okay. wow. wow. How could I didn't you tell? That. <laughs> We will judge your pies afterwards. Okay. A clue to perfect pie dough. Vodka? So we end up using some water and some vodka. We can increase the total amount of wetness, giving us a much more cohesive dough. So you have your slice of pie, you find your designated driver. Yeah, there you go. It's a tiny bit. It's a quarter cup in, you know, a huge amount of dough. In yeah. the oven, this will all evaporate. That's Never the heard secret. of that. secret. It's not love. Never it's heard booze. of that. There you go. After more mixing, the dough is chilled and later rolled. Here's a little trick to rolling very cold pie dough that I learned from Julia Child. Okay. You have to beat it. Okay. Okay. It's a great thing to do if you had a really bad day at work. Okay. Mm -hmm. The shoot mm -hmm. didn't go well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, just come home and beat some dough. Yeah. Very stress relieving. Who are you beating? <laughs> Would you like to know? All right, this is it. And it doesn't have to be perfectly round. When things are a little crooked, mm -hmm. we call it rustic. You guys are tough. You're both so good. Then again. Oh, here, let me you know see how it has handles. It's going to be a lot easier if you hold the handles. Oh, that's what the handles are for. Yeah. <laughs> Shane, you're doing an awesome job. Secretly think yours looks now, a lot better than mine. Wow. I think it looks fantastic. Oh. Say, remember? Rustic. Yeah. Rustic. This is like an archaeological okay. thing. Yeah. What <laughs> This corner. Yeah, th th that corner. Our budding chefs expertly fold dough so it doesn't rip and learn how to choose the best apple for pies. Honey crisp. Those Honey are my crisp. favorite. They are great, great sweetness, tartness, balance, yes. mm -hmm. and they hold shape. We're going to throw in a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla, sugar, about a quarter cup, and a little bit of lemon juice to balance the sugar so the flavor is nice and complex. Right. The concoction sits for a half hour so juice can drain from the apples. We're going to save it, reduce it to a syrup, and then glaze our pie in the end with it. So all of that flavor will go in it will be extra concentrated. This is one of the reasons I love this kind of free-form pie, is because for beginner bakers, the filling can breathe, the moisture evaporates, yeah. and you can get away with way more little mistakes. You guys rock. This is awesome. Who knew? Yeah. 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 There you yeah. go. That's your yeah. next book. Cooking <laughs> <laughs> book. Who knew? I can cook. <laughs> Into the oven they go for 50 minutes. Oh my gosh, this is Gorgeous. Hey, we took a look work. at those little ribs of caramelized wow. apples. This is all the sugar that I put on. Yeah. I had a great teacher. I hear the crunch. Oh, look at that flakiness. All right, bon appetit. Both taste exactly oh, no. the I same. Think, Ted, I'm giving it to you. Mm -mm. The official no. first mm -mm. Ted chain of bake off. No, I don't That's accept. I think it might have to be a tie. I can't believe I had anything mm. to do with this because but you did. it doesn't make any sense. Very good. Also helps having that lunch. Ow. It all comes down to this. A few short days will tell Annie Walker whether a year's hard labor has paid off. I work all year making the product and we're open for 10 days. I know that's crazy, right? Annie's crannies are harvested, packaged, and sold from her farm stand on a quiet back road in Dennis in five short weekends. There's not many farmers that are as small as I am that can make it. It's just too little land. Walker is a 12th generation Cape Codder. Her small farm in Dennis, once owned by Henry Hall, the inventor of cranberry farming. Dennis is the birthplace of the cultivated cranberry. We celebrated 200 years in 2016. Walker's bogs are dry picked. 
berries plucked off their vines by hand-driven machine. But this humble operation comes with a rather glitzy backstory. It's the bog that Broadway paid for. <laughs> You see, Annie Walker spent a number of years as a successful Broadway wardrobe supervisor. By 1995, she was burned out and took a three-month leave from the hit Broadway show, Crazy For You. Annie came back home to Dennis and started digging ditches in the box. And my brother said the dirtier I got, the bigger my smile got. And I knew I had to get one of these things. Annie traded in the bright lights for the old family bog. Which belonged to my grandfather. Now you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> So it belonged to my grandfather, and his last year of picking it was 1959. So I bought it. And as Annie mentioned, the farm stand only opened for a limited time in the fall. It is now closed for the season. And we'll have Helen's apple pie recipe, also known as an apple galette, on our website. So check it out. It was so good. All right, look good. Still ahead, forget the Thanksgiving table. These turkeys have hit the streets.